Greetings warriors, my name is Pretty, and welcome to another ASMR video. I hope my voice doesn't sound too bad today. I'm recovering from bronchitis and a sinus infection. We are here to talk about loneliness. And what you can do when you feel lonely. Before we begin, let's do some grounding exercises so we both can feel comfortable, relaxed, and ready to begin. Alright, the first thing I want you to do is listen to your surroundings, meaning you're welcome to take your headphones off to just listen to the world around you for a moment. Listen to all of the different noises that are going around. Do you hear birds? Do you hear dogs barking in the distance? Do you hear city sounds like traffic and horns? Do you hear people talking? What are they saying if you hear them talking? Do you recognize the words that they are saying? Or does it just sound like mumbled, jumbled words? Let the sounds wash over your body and your mind, reminding you that you are present. You are exactly where you are in this world and that there are things around you that exist other than yourself and the world inside of your head. So let's take a moment together and listen to the world around us. Feel free to take off your headphones to do this, or you can just continue listening to me as I describe what I hear around me. I hear the gentle buzzing of my computer, the fans in the computer spinning around to keep my computer nice and cool and working. I also hear my own voice because, well, <laughs> I'm recording and talking, <laughs> but I also hear, hopefully you guys can't hear, <laughs> but I hear my neighbors taking care of some snow because we just had some lovely snow last night and gotta clean it up gotta do the adult things <laughs> but doing this will help you remind yourself where you are and that you are safe mm -hmm. next thing I want you to do is I want you to think in categories what categories? well anything you can choose maybe thinking about ice cream flavors or musical instruments or maybe even books take a moment to list those things in your mind fitting into the categories and focus on making that category list doing this will slow down your brain and let you Dedicate yourself to thinking about one thing. So, join with me. Let's, let's do ice cream flavors. Let's take a minute and think about ice cream flavors. I can think about mint chocolate chip, cookie dough, red velvet. Ooh, I remember that there was like an animal cracker <laughs> ice cream that I had one time it was very bizarre but I remember it chocolate Neapolitan and we could go on and on forever honestly there's so many different kinds of ice cream but we don't need to spend hours doing it just a few minutes so that our brains can take pause and give ourselves time to relax and let go of all of the stress in our minds. 
the last grounding technique I want us to do is to visualize your favorite place in the whole world. Do you have a favorite place? Is it somewhere in your home? Is it a vacation you went on? Try to visualize as much as you can this area that you are thinking of. And if you don't have an area that you're thinking of, imagine your dream place. The place that you feel most comfortable and happy in. Think about the noises that you would hear, the objects that you would see, and all of the scents that you could smell. Really dive into the imaginary and open your eyes to see the world that you have created in your mind. The place that brings you ultimate happiness. Let's take a deep breath, everyone. Ready? Breathe in. Two, three, four. Hold. Two, three, four. Out, two, three, four. Mm. Now, let's talk about loneliness. Because we all feel lonely sometimes. And you might be feeling lonely right now. And if you are, you're in the right place. <laughs> but I want to talk about what loneliness is and that it's part of life and the things that we do to combat our loneliness. So, let's define loneliness first. Loneliness stems from lack of connection, whether it be connection to your friends, your family, or to the world around you. Loneliness necessarily isn't about being physically surrounded by people or the lack of that. You could still be lonely in a giant crowd. I want you to know this though. Loneliness is different than being alone. Right now, I am in my house by myself. Does that mean I should automatically be lonely? No. I am alone. But I'm not lonely. And it's healthy to spend time alone. But what isn't healthy is to always feel lonely. Your loneliness is something of a reminder telling you that something around your social circle is off and that your happiness should be a priority. Just because you're lonely right now doesn't mean you will forever be lonely. Even if loneliness feels bad and it hurts, I promise you it's not bad. Loneliness is telling you you need some connection to the world around you. What can be bad is the actions you take from being lonely. So, low self-esteem, finding it hard to talk to others, overwhelm, all of those actions are, is what is bad from loneliness. So I want you to ask yourself, how am I feeling lonely? What is making me feel lonely? Do you feel people aren't listening to you? Does it feel like you have no one to go to? Take pause and think about what is making you lonely. Because when you know that, you can start working on how to fight your loneliness and to do 
beautiful and wonderful things to make sure that you don't always feel um, feel lonely. Mm. So, we can talk about the things that you can do in this very moment if you are lonely. But right now, I want to comfort you because not having that connection can be hard and it can really feel <laughs> lonely. <laughs> like you're the only person in the world that feels this way. But I want to show you that I'm here even if I don't talk <laughs> to you and I'm just a video you're watching right now that you are not alone in this moment you are not lonely in this moment because you are going to make a connection and feel good all right so use these affirmations whenever you are struggling with loneliness and you want to feel that connection okay so Let's take a big breath. You are appreciating yourself by taking time to recharge. You let go of regret. What do what's done is done and the future will be better. You are stronger than loneliness. Fear and anxiety can't hold you back. This loneliness will pass. You can choose to make today wonderful. Your friends and family love spending time with you. You are here for a reason and you will accomplish so much. You can give yourself the things you need to feel better. Bad days will pass, and joy will come again. You may be alone, but you do not have to be lonely. You are cherished, loved, and important. There is nothing wrong with you. You are ready to start fresh today. Today is a day for love and kindness. Your existence matters and you are leaving a mark on the world. You are your own best friend and love yourself unconditionally. You are grateful for the chance to bring joy to others and to yourself. Your independence empowers you. Breathe in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, out, two, three, four. Hmm. So now, Talk about the things that you can do right now to feel a little less lonely. 
first thing <laughs> is the biggest step whenever you're feeling any sort of emotion is admitting it. Admit that you are lonely and let go of the stigma and shame around that emotion. Everyone feels lonely. It's not just you. You're not an other. You're not socially isolated just because you're lonely. Everyone feels this way sometimes. I want you to come to terms with being lonely. If you refuse that you are lonely, you are putting off your chance to do something about that feeling, to remedy your own life. You have the power to get yourself out of loneliness. And you can't do that until you accept that you are lonely. I want you to don't deny that you're lonely, but I don't want you to lean into it either. The response of, I don't actually need anyone, is harmful to your mental and physical health. Humans are social creatures. And we need the connection to others and to the world in order to be our best selves. Lying to yourself, saying that you don't need any support or any connection can really damage you and make you feel even more lonely. So please, don't love your loneliness, but don't hate it either. Accept it and say, I am going to do something about this feeling. And as I mentioned earlier, before the affirmations, um, investigate your loneliness. How does your loneliness feel? How does your body, your heart, your mind act when you are lonely? What thought? come into your mind when you feel lonely. Our emotions are our body's way of sharing information. And I want you to reflect and fully understand your loneliness and what it means for you to feel lonely. A good exercise is drawing your loneliness. Even if you aren't an artistic person, getting a visual representation of your loneliness can make it easier to understand. So, does it feel like you're in a cold, dark room for your loneliness? Draw it. Does it feel like you have a constant spotlight on you that pushes other people away? Draw it. Think about the color, think about the shape, visualize what your feelings are, and accept the loneliness, because you are going to do something about it. Now, another thing that you can do is some positive exercises. These are meant to make you feel less lonely. Obviously, I want you to go and make connections with the world, connect with others, connect with just everything around you. But what's most important right now is that we get you to a place where you feel comfortable so you can work on building those connections. The first positive exercise you could do is write down positive memories. You might have heard about doing this before and maybe never committed to it. <laughs> but times when you're lonely are the perfect time to dedicate yourself to writing positive memories. I want you to take 15, maybe 10 minutes 
and write down any positive memory you have. It could be memories with family or friends. It could be memories that just stick out to you, that make you feel happy. As long as you write down them and actually write them, not just list them in your head, either get a pen and paper or your keyboard, <laughs> write them down. Because seeing these memories and reliving them in your mind will remind you that you are not alone, that you have pleasant feelings about these memories. Maybe doing this exercise will remind you, oh, yeah, I had a lot of fun the other day playing maybe a video game with my friends. That made me feel good. I should do that again. So, writing down positive memories. Another positive exercise is smiling. <laughs> it's odd to smile without a reason, but smiling can make you actually happy, even if you're not happy. Close your eyes and think about somebody who made you laugh or smile. Think about it. And let the smile come on your face and release the tension in your body. When you smile, neurotransmitters in your brain set off and I don't want to say trick. <laughs> stimulate you into feeling happier than you were before. So as you think about this memory of someone who made you smile or laugh, hold on to it and nurture that little spark and remind yourself that life has things that you enjoy, that people can make you feel happy. Even if it's a random stranger on the street or a TV show you enjoy. Find that moment and smile about it. The last positive exercise that you can do right now is grateful notes. These notes will help you go away from the thoughts of I don't need people or I deserve to be alone because those are not helpful thoughts that will bring you out of loneliness. So, gratitude. <laughs> no matter how big or how small you feel this gratitude, write it down. Make a giant list of all of the things in life that you are grateful for. I am grateful that I have a comfy bed. It's nice to sleep in a comfy bed. I am grateful that I have a home somewhere I live and make my space. I am grateful for the world around me, for the people that care about me. I am grateful that, <laughs> as silly as this sounds, I am grateful that Taco Bell exists <laughs> because I love Taco Bell. It makes me happy. Take some time, write down all of the things in life that you are grateful for because these things are connections to the world around you. Even if it's not people, even if it's things, they are connections that bring you away from loneliness into the beautiful world around us. And the last thing I want you to do right now to combat your loneliness is doing things. Now, that might seem a little like, of course, Brady, I should do something about my loneliness. But some people choose to sit in their loneliness. And I want you 
to take steps and to do something. So, let's think of all of the different things that you can do, even if it's by yourself. Is there a new store in town? Go. You don't need anyone to tag along with you to make it enjoyable. Go out and spend time by yourself. Doing this strengthens your own independence and it makes the time feel more like a gift rather than going to hang out with somebody, you know. Go walk in a park. Go bowling even by yourself. Relish that you have time to your own independent self that you can do whatever your heart desires. Relish in that ability that you can do whatever you want. Get lost in a TV show. Learn a new hobby. During this time, you can do anything that sparks joy and happiness, even if it means you are doing it alone. Because this is your independent time, where you really take care of yourself. It sounds odd, but take yourself on a date. <laughs> you deserve it. Another thing you can do is volunteer. If you feel going out and doing stuff by yourself isn't going to foster that independence, then go out and do something to improve the world around you. To bring that connection to the world by doing good. During this, you may even find people who have similar passions. Maybe you go and volunteer at a dog shelter. And then you find people there that, hey, they also like dogs. There's a connection there. And also, animals are very good for uh, feelings of loneliness as well. <laughs> Do you want to be outside more? Go to a park cleanup event or helping out at some sort of local event that's happening. Even if you don't meet a new person when you volunteer, you are building a connection to the world around you. And if you are thinking, wow, that's a little too much for me right now, that's okay. You don't have to volunteer to change the world right now. Take this act of kindness that you are putting into the world and put it to somebody you love. Send a little gift to a friend that you know will make their day happy. Go through and donate all of your old things that you no longer need that you know will make someone else happy. This is about gratitude to the world and expressing yourself and connecting with the world from that gratitude. The last thing you can do to, you know, do <laughs> something is deciding how you want to socialize. Because as we mentioned earlier, loneliness comes from a lack of connection and a good way to connect is to socialize so let's decide together how you want to socialize what makes you feel good when you talk to others do you relish in deep thoughtful conversations that can take hours or do you find enjoyment in sending funny memes? Just casual, lighthearted jokes. 
there is a giant spectrum of communication and I want you to sit and ask, what do I need? Do I need that multi-hour long deep conversation about life and love and journeys? Or do I just need to shoot the shit, <laughs> send memes, send jokes, relish in the comedy of life? Once you decide that, listen to these words very carefully. No one will feel annoyed by you when you reach out. I'll say it again. No one will feel annoyed by you when you reach out. Everyone has lives, and hearing from the ones that we love and care about is a good thing. If someone gets upset at you for sending them a meme, then they have their own problems that they need to work out, and that you did something wonderful by reaching out to the people you care about. I want you to think, how would you feel right now if someone reached out to you? Even if it was not the way you wanted to socialize, how would you feel if it was someone you truly cared about reached out to you? Would you feel happy? Would you feel connected? When you reach out, people could feel the exact same way. Feel that oh, they reached out. They were thinking about me. Oh, that makes me so happy. I would love to talk to them. Never be afraid to reach out. So, decide how you want to socialize, and do it. Even if it's joining a Discord, <laughs> link below. <laughs> Find that method of communication and socialization that you need. So, the things you can do right now to combat your loneliness is one, admit you are lonely, accept it, but don't relish it, do positive exercises that bring gratitude, light, and happiness into your life, and finally, do things, dates for yourself, social interaction, putting in the effort to combat the loneliness. I want you to close your eyes and let's do some breathing because that was a lot. <laughs> it was a lot of information and I want you to take a moment and breathe with me. Ready? Breathe in. Two, three, four. Hold. Two, three, four. Out. Two, three, four. Just because you're lonely right now doesn't mean you will always feel lonely. You can do things to combat your loneliness and feel connected with the world. So please, today, find a way to connect whether it's with a person, whether it's with the world, find a way to connect. I am so proud of you, and I am so honored that you took the time to listen to me. Thank you so incredibly much. <laughs> Keep fighting your battles, and I See you next time. Bye-bye.